I'm attempting to do some repairs on this HP 32S2, and from what I can glean online, I've gone ahead and I've pulled it apart. So if you pull off the battery cover, you'll see there's four rivets here, and I've already popped these ones. It took a little bit of pressure, but those four rivets, they'll go down a little bit, and then they'll pop out if you apply enough pressure. And then I used just a pair of fingernail clippers, the end here, and ran it along the edge, careful not to get into the, the PCB and separate the keyboard. I ran it along just the very edge here and kind of got it open. And once I got the top part and it started to separate, and I was able to pop the four rivets that are at the bottom. So those last four rivets, and those are kind of tough to pull. Those last four rivets are down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but there's little edges around here that will probably <clears throat> I might have to shave those in order to get them back into the holes that are here in the uh, the keyboard. One other thing I wanted to note about the rivets um, is they are directly in between these locations. So there's one rivet here right in this intersection, one here, one here, and one here. So that might help you get an idea when you're trying to pry off the back of where those rivets are and where the pressure needs to be applied. And then next, the problem I had here with this calculator is that a good connection was no longer being made, so you had to squeeze, squeeze the bezel here in order to make uh, any sort of contact, and it was kind of tenuous contact. So I'm going to pull off this board here. There's these six ties. These two ties are the easiest. They don't actually connect with any metal, but these ones I had to be careful with because the metal tail drags on the uh, the copper. So I very carefully with just a pair of needle nose got those legs up a little bit and then twisted them back into location. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to pull the, the PCB off. To get the PCB off, just inserting in here and gently prying up, trying to pop it off without causing any damage. Got all but the one. There. So apparently, it's this little piece of foam back here behind the contacts that is degrading. So that needs to be replaced. And those contacts back there look like they make contact with what's here on the board. So I'm going to clean these off, clean those off and replace the foam and we'll see how that goes. So I cleaned off the contacts. I had a, I had actually contact cleaner. Um, I'm sure isopropyl alcohol would work fine. So I cleaned off the, co the contacts using a Q-tip and I went ahead and did the rest of the contacts while I was in here. Next I'll go ahead and try to replace the foam that's under here. So I think this should peel up. <clears throat> go ahead and pull this out. I'm sure this is somewhat deteriorated and compressed over the years. I'm also going to clean the contacts here. I'm going to clean along this as well. I don't know that that needs to be done, but I notice there's contacts up here on the board. I don't know if those are connections to the LCD or what. A little dirty, not, not too bad. All right, so a little while later, I have uh, taken, I went and I found some adhesive foam tape at uh, just Office Depot, and I cut it with an X-Acto blade into little strips. 
And here's the backing off of one of them. And then I put one strip down and then stacked another strip on top of it. And that gave me about, about the thickness I needed. Raise that up a little bit. And see the the tab there is angled up at about 45 degrees. So now I'm going to try to reassemble it. So I got the uh, the boards back in and the tabs twisted. I made sure I had snug contact down with those um, contact those pads and stuck the batteries in to test it and. It looks like it works now, so yay. I just have to put it back together. I'll probably end up using an X-Acto blade, like I said earlier, to take off the little edges on these so they'll actually fit back in the holes. All right, so I actually ended up using a Dremel tool to round off the corners on the little saucer top. So I had this. It actually had a, a divot in the middle that I stuck it on top and just went around a couple times to round off those sort of saucer or the little hat that's on top of the, the rivets that was actually holding the rivet on. So those rivets are gone, uh, but those calculator still holds together real well. It won't pop apart. I'd still have to, to pry it up, but it will be easier next time should I have to get in. And it comes on and works, so I'm happy about that.